I'm Ben Hall, and this is the Student Athlete Spotlight. Ben. Yes. If you didn't play rugby, what sport would you play? Wrestling, honestly. I, I came to the Naval Academy to try a new sport. Right? That's a big reason why I thought I'd try rugby. And we've had a few sessions with the wrestling team, and I kind of like that that, uh, that physical aspect of that game. Well, it's a combat sport. I think it'd be pretty interesting. What is the ultimate pregame hype song? Pre-game hype song? So we listen to If I Had a Heart. It's a little bit of a Viking war song. Um, we usually play it about five minutes before we run out of the field after our warm-up. It's uh, a Viking man and a Viking woman harmonizing. It's a little throaty, but it gets everyone ready to go to war. Give it a listen, If I Have a Heart by Fever Ray. I'm a big grunge, oh, big grunge fan. Seattle grunge, Alice in Chains. Uh, Pearl Jam, oh, Nirvana as well. Some of the boys might not like it, like it in the locker room, but uh, they're gonna listen to it anyway. How could they not like them bones? Oh, I'm a big fan of them bones. <laughs> Who is your role model, Ben? My role model is my dad, uh, without a doubt. He's he's one of those guys, and maybe he'll watch this, maybe he won't. But um, don't tell him I said that. But uh, he he's one of those guys who everything I do, I always think about what would he have done in this situation. What's your nickname? Well, if you've ever seen The Boys on HBO, a lot of people on my team call me Homelander. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I accept it. Uh, you can ask some of those guys why I got the nickname. I'm not really sure, but on the team, I often get called Homelander, so. I can see why. <laughs> What has been your proudest moment as a mid? Uh, my proudest moment as a mid was being named as team captain this year. Uh, it's honestly probably my proudest moment of my life. Um, being able to carry on the legacy of all those uh, those warriors who've gone before us and upheld what, what we're trying to uphold and being able to pass that torch to the next class, it's, it's my job and my burden to make sure that I leave it in a better place than it was this year. So. You're majoring in ocean engineering, and you were ranked number 77 in military order of merit in your class. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I actually want to be a professional pickleballer when I grow up. I'm hoping to make it to the leagues. Um, I've been playing a bunch with uh, Landon Opp, some of my teammates, Coach Willix, Carrie, our trainer, um, working on my craft. In terms of the military, if that's what you're asking, I'm, I'm still in between a few. I'm between. Uh, Marine Corps ground, hopefully maybe the infantry or explosive ordnance disposal, spam technicians. So those are my two options going into this fall. Some Navy fans might not know this, but in the national championship game, you took a nasty hit to the forehead, oh, yeah. full speed forehead to forehead contact. And when the final whistle blew, you had sunglasses and an ice pack on your head. How did you celebrate that night? Ah, uh, well, I walked off the, the pitch, and of course, our alumni at the game were on the field before any of the actual players were celebrating. I had one person on my left shoulder, one person on my right shoulder, making sure I was walking straight. I uh, took a few pictures, didn't really remember much, went straight to the car, went back, and fell asleep in my uniform. 